Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a browser web app on Safari using macOS Sonoma. This is one of the new features of macOS Sonoma and it allows you to have a website that opens in its own separate app. So it makes it feel more like its own individual window with its own individual features. So let's get straight into it. All right, so all you have to do for this process is pretty simple, is um, you've got to open up Safari here and make sure you are running macOS Sonoma for this. That is really important. And then you can choose any website that you like. So for example, uh, I might want my favorite weather um, website to be its own browser web app. So um, for this, I'm going to go to WeatherZone, um, which is an Australian um, weather app. And then you can see here that it's opened it in the browser. So this is pretty standard. It's opened the website in the browser. I can make new tabs and things like that. But to make this its own individual instance with its own app icon in the dock and its own app, what I need to do is go to File, and then I need to click Add to Dock. Alternatively, you can click Share, and then you can also click Add to Dock here. So there's a couple of options there, but you go File, and then Add to Dock. Then it will ask you what you want to call it. So by default, it comes up with the website name. It shortened it down automatically there. So that's pretty much what I want to call it. Puts you gives you the web address. And then I can click add. And what you'll see here is it's now added WeatherZone to my dock here. So if I quit out of Safari here and close it all down, and then I reopen the WeatherZone here, you'll see that it opens in its own individual app. You can see it's got... Um, the weather zone um, sort of uh, name here up in the menu bar and you can see it's its own app with its own clean looking window design and all that so we can go here and we can go about weather zone you can see it actually comes up like it is its own individual app and I can go through here and click on the different things and it works just like the website usually would but it's just more of a um, nice clean experience and then I can still open Safari on its own and do other things that I would like to here as well. So you can see that that works in really nicely with the design um, of everything. So it means that you can have things separated more easily into their own sort of app instances. And then if I quit out of WeatherZone, you can see that Safari still uh, runs. So even though that WeatherZone is still technically running in Safari, it's just um, going into its own sort of window so it doesn't get affected by other things. And you can see here that it's actually reopened to where I left off here. So I can um, click around the website and get to wherever I want to as I please. So that's how you add the browser web app. And now let's say that you eventually want to delete the app off your computer. So at any point in time, so you can see that in... Um, Spotlight, it doesn't actually show up as an app. So it just brings up the uh, website here if you try to spotlight search it. Um, so if you want to remove the app, what you can do is right click on it and go options remove from dock. So that will just remove the app from your dock. However, if you want to remove it completely, what I would suggest doing is go into the launch pad, which is usually a button on your dock. If not, um, you can usually launch it by a four or five finger swipe uh, inwards on the trackpad. Um, so then open up Launchpad and you can see that um, we got our pages of apps here. But what you're looking for is the web app you've just created. So I can see that here. Then if you just left click and hold on it, it'll go into jiggle mode where you can you know rearrange the apps. And then you just want to click the X and then it'll say, are you sure you want to remove the web app? And then we just click remove here and it will remove it completely. Now. <laughs> You can see it has, it did bug out a little bit there where it got glitched, but it has removed the web app and now there are no traces of it. So yeah, that's all there is to creating a browser web app on your macOS device. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, but it is super handy if you just want your own individual windows for things and you want to keep your desktop a bit more clean and have things more separated and easy, 
easily accessible. So yeah, that's really helpful. So hopefully you've had some great success in making a website, a browser web app on Safari on your macOS device. If you'd like to see how to do this process on other web browsers, I have made video a video for that. So you can ch check that link up in the cards and in the description below if you'd like to see that. That works for more Chromium based uh, and browsers and also some other types like Firefox as well. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any other video suggestions for me, especially if they're relating to, you know, uh, new features in macOS Sonoma, because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. And with that, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.